Hey guys, what's up? The Mega Green Gamer here. Welcome back to Cold War 2 Rebooted. Let's get on with it. And already off to a great start with my RNG. Just shock him again. Oh no, I don't have to shock him again. Level up, skills, persuade, treat injury, dems, security. This is why we save all my points waste and I'll get improved to improve slurry, actually. I think that's going to do better for us. Heal. Accept. And then next off, we'll next level up, we'll get um, improved down. to weapon fighting. Now, if I could just kill this probe. Hey, there we go. Maybe I can recover the mine. Can I recover it? And still's too low, so I'll just have to disable it. This is why we put points in Dems, even if it's not a class skill. As for putting points in Persuade, if it's not a class skill, well, it's handy. It's pretty much a requirement in every single cost in the coat every single coat or trade through. So, well, Persuade, like, the best start in the game. That's not skill. What skill is that? Eh. Okay, so the thing about here, we can't go up there until we've destroyed all the mines, which means we have to go in here. No, so by destroying, so by destroying the mines, I mean you can either disable them, pick them up, or just run over them. You, Atten, need a med pack. T3. Um, repair yourself. There you go. Everyone's all healed? Good. Let's go. Kill these droids for some extra EXP. So, as you can probably see from here, we get a maximum party of three. Um, I do not know who I want for my third team member, so, um, for you guys who have played this game, I'm. This is where I ask for suggestions, so, um, if you do, then, um, link to the Discord is in the description. You can DM me on Discord who you think should be in the third slot of the team, since I don't want any team spoilers in the comments for people who haven't played this. And I'll tell you who the second team member is going to be, because you can't take the character off your team if you use two open slots. And I'll tell... Yeah. There's more of them? Okay. So is this the way over... Hangar bay. Yep, yeah, this is the way we need to go. I think got a level, so I don't need to use a med pack on him. Mm, whatever. I don't really think I want you. So, so you know, I want to the second character that primarily focuses in melee weapons. Do they have to use force powers? No, but it, um, I, I I like it if they could. Yep, this is it, the docking bay. Well, that's our ever so beautiful ship.
Um, I'm pretty sure you can deal with them, but uh, just in case. Like that. Really? I can fight this thing. Oh well. Yeah. Just like, just like the old republic. Knights of the old republics. Also, obviously, can be pretty dumb. Med pack on myself. Heal. Wow, heal uses so much force energy at this point in the game. Might have been better off popping a med pack, but I'm not sure. This door is <clears throat> magnetically sealed. I can't believe this. The ship's right out there, and we can't get to it. Huh? What is that piece of junk saying? How can you even understand that noise? Alright, well, if he can slice the door open from the terminal above, don't let me stop. T3! Oh, let's see, this is T3's terminal. Like that. Done it. It's facing burst of speed, so we can just go a bit faster. I don't really see any reason to upgrading burst of speed once you get it. Like maybe improved burst of speed I can understand, but really, once you get burst of speed, there's no reason to get to um, improved or master. Unless you literally just don't know what to get and want to go that ever so slight bit faster. And one more. Security. Always works the second time. Failure again. What the heck? Oh. Is it because we're in combat? Oh, uh, the audience. Why? Please don't. Just... Hate when that's the thing. Um, I'll use mine. I'll just use a mine. Usually I sell my mines, but in case of like this. Pitch holding mark one. If I keep on. If I go down from here, this requires me to go in here. Which means more excavator droids. More carbon. Which more freeze. Which means less fun for me. No, no, I, no, I can't. Copy these. So I'll just disable them. I could just run through them all, but that would kill me. So I actually just that. Shock. Lightning! Hey, hey! No, 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 don't disable, don't do anything with them all. Now you can do things with the mine. T3. 
Honestly, I don't care if T3 dies. T3, repay yourself. Med pack on yourself. This is a repair cut on T3. Do I have enough spikes? I've got enough. Slice the system. Open decontamination. I don't have enough spikes for that. Um, just to slice myself to force it open. No. Do I have like a breath mask or something? No, so we've got to just move quick. Ben, poison. Yes, poison. Asin, I know, poison. Oh, now we get the breathing mask. I don't know. How do you get the breathing mask again? Is it in here? This is actually confusing me. How do you get the breath mask? Doesn't matter because we won't really be encountering much poison from here, but. Still, how do you guess it? Well, here's the ship. Let's get on in. Quick, we're gonna need some time to fire up the engines. Let's give the laser turret a workout. All right. Please don't crash. Half of these episodes have just been me begging the game to not crash. Now I beg it for to not crash again. So you see these little messages? Just ignore those. Oh. We get a left yes section here. Left yes section. Oh four. Well, basically, we've got to stop these guys from four different things ever before. So, let's see what we're Okay. This is fine. Like, this shooting here, it's fine, I don't mind it. No, no, stay away, stay away, stay away. Hey, that was close. No, no, no. Don't hide behind your All teammates. Right, let's get out of here. There is no time. We must leave. Hey, I got an achievement! Yes! Uh, that means I killed all of them. It's probably a pretty easy achievement to get, but I'm bad at that section, so I'm glad I did so well. If they hit us, we're dead. But if they keep missing us, we're dead. It's great odds. Somebody shut that trash compactor up.
Not with all these asteroids around us. We'd enter hyperspace in pieces. We have to clear that field first. Thing is, we clear the field and they're gonna have a clear shot at us. What are the asteroids? They can be destroyed by us as well as them, can they not? That'll take out the whole field, the colony, and maybe us. We might not even be able to jump to hyperspace in time. Then we die here. Choose now. Hold on! This is gonna get a little rocky. There you go, and I destroyed the asteroids. Now that we just killed a planet, maybe one of you can tell me what's going on. Because between assassin droids, a Sith Lord that looks like he sleeps with vibroblades, and being target practice for a Republic warship, I was better off in my cell. The Republic warship was the Harbinger. It was seized on its way to Telos by the Sith. They sought you, Jedi. Yes, to aid in the recovery effort there. Many roads lead to Telos, including ours. Not like we have much of a choice, the Paragus astrogation charts being what they are. It is where we must go, and where the Harbinger was bound before our unfortunate encounter on Paragus. You were difficult to find, but coincidence was on our side. When I learned that you were on the vessel, I knew the Sith would not be far behind. When we intercepted the Harbinger, it was crippled, drifting in space. It was a simple matter to board the vessel and rescue you. Unknown to me, however, the Sith were already on board. Just as we made the jump to hyperspace, they fired upon us, nearly destroying the Ebon Hawk. Whatever occurred on board the Harbinger had rendered you unconscious. Though your thoughts were faint, I was still able to find you sealed in one of the cargo holds. True. But as one trained in the Force, you know that true coincidences are rare. I do not know how the Ebon Hawk was able to make it to per Be silent. We're having a conversation. Repaired this ship. My eye. Next thing you know, it's going to claim credit for saving our skins. If that little noisemaker says it repaired the ship once, then it can prove it by doing it again. Go on. Get. That is not an easy question to answer. This threat is greater than you know, and I do not believe it is a battle that can be fought. Look, enough with the we already. We cannot hope to triumph against them alone. To stop them, you will need weapons, allies, and a teacher. In the end, I fear it may not be enough. You fought in the Mandalorian Wars, and it cost you everything. Are you willing to sacrifice as much again? You are not listening to me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose war, it is a path few turn from once the first steps are taken. It carries with it a terrible price. And in the end, you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. <laughs> Your fool's words echo of a Jedi. You have much to learn. 
Because you are the last of the Jedi. Once you are dead, then they have won. Exile or not, the Sith believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. The Jedi's civil war destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle, and many more were seduced by Revan's teachings. The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi. And the Jedi Temple on Coruscant lies empty. The waters in the Room of a Thousand Fountains have fallen still, in reverence to the fallen Jedi and those now lost. Many Jedi blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall, and the civil war that followed. Perhaps, but they are Jedi no longer. If the Sith have not already slain them, then they will not help you, nor can you help them. But we have spoken long enough, and my wound pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy-eyed. Also, in private, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. <laughs> Look, uh, not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. I think she was barely keeping it together. I'm surprised she's able to stand with all that pain rolling off of her. How did that- how did that level me up? Treat injury, persuade. I've got two points left. Should I do and put another one in Dems? I'll put another one in Dems. Feats. Get improved to weapon fighting, as I said. Yep. That looks good. Powers. Can we get- no, level 9, we can't get that. Hmm. Should we get... Valor? Oh, I can get Basil Meditation. Did we get that? Could come in handy. Hmm. This is the hardest part, choosing what force powers you are. Oh, cool. Avenge, ignore your brief cameo. There you go. Accept. Oh, we've got improved to weapon fighting. Vibro blade. Hmm. Oh, I do not have a full memory, but I believe that, yeah. Can you come for more answers? That does not surprise me any more than you hearing my thoughts when we were apart. The pain, however, was unexpected. If I could, I would have shielded you from it. Save your pity. I am here to save you. I do not know. I fear that the consequences would have been more extreme. Possibly, yes, and I fear it works both ways. I would not wish to test it, nor should you. When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragas. It seems the Force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the Force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. Young Freya possessed the Force Chain special ability. When either of you use a force power on yourself, the other will gain the buff as well. A powerful technique indeed, though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. Much has happened in the galaxy in your absence. 
and since the defeat of the Mandalorians at Malachor V. As you know, Revan and Malak went to war against the Mandalorians, and you followed under Revan's banner. As Revan and Malak fought the Mandalorians in battle after battle, they grew to despise weakness, just as the Mandalorians did. In the end, the Mandalorians had taught them through conflict, shaped the Jedi, and turned them into a weapon against the Republic. Revan and Malak, and all the Jedi that served them, turned against the Republic and the Jedi Order. Jedi fought Jedi. Revan was ambushed by the Jedi and captured. Malak continued to wage war in his master's place, inflicting terrible wounds on the Republic. Wounds that bleed still. I would see to that fool in the cockpit. He is a fool and an imbecile. His potential lies downwards, not up. Watch that one. His thoughts are slippery. I do not trust him, and nor should you. Well, I have lost some influence with Kray, but then again, Kray is really hard to keep influence with, so... Kray has got, like, the hardest influence in the game, I believe. Like, one of the hardest influences. How's our passenger? She's still aging? What a surprise. Just so you Jedi know, the whole cryptic routine isn't mysterious, it's just irritating. If you really can see the future, you should be at the Bazak table. <laughs> then she must be royalty, because she's got to be queen of the galaxy to bark out orders like that. Or maybe she's senile. I mean, how old do you think she is? She may have been good looking once, but it takes some hard living to make creases like that. Hey, I just got out of prison. If we had a decent Navi computer, trust me, we'd be dropping out of hyperspace into the Nar Shaddaa Red Sector right now. After spacing that old witch, of course. Whoa, all right, all right, don't get mad at me. Hey, I didn't ask her to stay behind and get her hand cut off, okay? I mean, I appreciate what she did and all, but she could stand to lay off the insults herself, you know? Yeah? Well, how much water you get from a stone depends what planet you're on. Like we have a choice? It's the only place Baragas had logged in their astrogation charts. Well, if you thought Baragas was dead, then Telos is a dying world they're trying to breathe back to life. Should be there before too long. You can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. So? What happened? Don't oh, give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where a lightsaber would have been helpful. So where's yours? Oh yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. Guess I heard wrong. Were you a single hilt or one of those double-bladed Jedi? Huh. Figures. It wasn't red, was it? Yeah, unique how? Must have been something. Sure be nice to have it now. Might make those Sith think twice before coming after us. All right, forget I said anything. Like I said before, you can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. The more light side points I can gain, the better. Don't crash. Thank you. Here we are, Auntie Los. A.K.A. my least favourite section in the game. <clears throat> I really don't like Telos. I want to end the episode here, but it's a bit too early for that.
I'd say give us like another few minutes and I'll end the video. Unless it crashes. Then I'll end it here and just speed my way back. Attention, this is Citadel Station Bay Control, Dock Module 126. Please remain where you are. Lieutenant Dolgren will arrive shortly to meet you. That is all. I don't like the sound of that. If they think we caused the explosion... Uh-oh. Here comes the welcoming party. They may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm Lieutenant Grant, Telos Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragas mining facility. Due to the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. If you are cleared of any involvement, your personal effects will be returned to you. You will be held briefly in the TSF station until living quarters can be arranged, at which point you will be placed under house arrest. Do you understand? Good. My men will relieve you of any arms and armor. Tell me I'm not going to jail again. here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in residential module 082. Well, we might be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. So this is the last of the Jedi. I must admit, I'm a little disappointed. Jedi or no, you're the one I am pledged to kill. There is no mistaking that. The Exchange has a bounty on Jedi, you know. The Exchange, huh? I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Hey, I'm more than skilled enough to work the Exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. No Mandalorian could match my skills. No Mandalorian could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station, taken the identity of one of the guards, then... Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive, but I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. The security cameras have mysteriously shorted out. There will be no witnesses to your escape attempt, during which I'll have been forced to kill you. By the time the TSF realize I'm not one of them, I will be far from this place. Easier for me, then. Come, Jedi. It is time to die. Hey, leave him alone. You want to fight? Then try me if you've got the guts. You have goaded me once, and you shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually. And an old woman, a fool, and a broken Jedi are no match to my skills. Well... Um... I used to have many screens that I can get in. Kind of as many screens as I can get. The security cameras are... What? What's going on here? Man down! All right, Jedi. I want you to back up slowly. Hands in front of you. Into the Force Cage. Cooperate, and we won't have to gun you down. Come on, Lieutenant. They've already killed... Uh, uh, who is that? Is that Batu Ram? Ram's no assassin. Batu Ram is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. That's something we're gonna have to look into. 
I can tell you that it can't have been easy. We've arranged for an apartment in Residential Module 082. You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragras matter is complete. You'll be under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters, and we'll investigate this incident to the best of our ability. Officer, got Lieutenant Yima a report of this incident. She'll look into this. The rest of you come with me. We'll escort you to the apartment and... Right. I'm going... These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. But just to be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? I'm no good with blasters. So how about you just leave me my vibro sword? Please? No? Okay, how long will I be here? I can't here? say. We have a ship examining what's left of the Paragus facility now, so your stay might be brief. We'll keep you informed. Now this is a step up from a force cage at least. If there are any problems, we'll use the wall terminal to contact you. Let's go. This isn't good. We've got to get off this station. What do you think the TSF is going to find at Paragus? That could bring the Sith... You know what? Forget it. As long as we're trapped here, it doesn't matter. We cannot stay in any one place too long. But our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. Rest. Doing some Jedi meditation. <laughs> Shut the heck up! I'm trying to sleep here! Excuse me, you have a caller. Moza, representing the Athorian Planet Restoration Interests on Telos. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him if you'd like to speak with him. Very well. Now perhaps we will be able to rest up. Rest. I'm trying to sleep here! Good day. I am B4D4. I am attempting to connect you with Executive Officer Jenna Lorso. I am sorry, but I do not know. Thank you. I will connect you now. Thank you for accepting my call. As my assistant no doubt informed you, I am John Alorso. I understand that you were approached by an Athorian earlier. Doubtless he tried to obtain your help, attempting to purchase it with imposed guilt and veiled threats. Oh, and I suppose he didn't mention the exchange, helping you with any problems here? In other words, the Athorians won't lead the exchange to you if you work with them. 
Well, no matter. My apologies. I never intended to waste your time discussing Athorians. I believe you're a person of influence. Someone I'd like on my side, rather than aiding the Athorians, whose quasi-mysticism and bumbling foolishness is standing in the way of progress and profit. I'm not asking for your help, though. I'm offering you a job. If you're interested, please visit our offices here in Residential 082. B-44 will know what to do when you arrive. Excellent. We should get back to bed. Whenever they decide to release us, we should get going and... Rest. Explain something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If he served in the war, well, Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman, or a man, a child. But to lose so much, I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the Force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. But such a loss of ability for a Jedi it seems so extreme. He has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that he turned away from war, did all that he could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this, and we do him a disservice by not speaking of this while he is present. I'm trying to sleep here! I've come to inform you that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragus facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship, they have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. The sojourn is already en route, likely not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081. To the Evan Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. Now what? We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off the station. Whether it's the Ebon Hawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shada, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. Hey, everyone needs to get lost once in a while. Get away from something, you know? It's no big deal. It is difficult to say. I feel we came to Telos for a reason, but we may have spent too much time here already. Even if the Harbinger was destroyed at Paragus, more Sith could already be on their way. Still, there is a chance we might learn of other Jedi here, on the planet's surface. Jedi who might help us restore your abilities, or sever the link between us. Well, what do you think? Makes sense. I'll follow your lead. I hear... They don't care about your stuff. As long as you get treat injury, I don't care. Right. And Kray's lost the two weapon fighting feet because, well, she lost her hand. She can only use single weapons and she can't dual wield. So she get toughness. Um... There's lots we can get her. Um, we could just get her flurry. Full powers. 
Oh, right, she gets two. Well, she gets two prison. She's. Um, she can also get. She will increase it to. You know what? That's that's a good idea, actually. She gets multiple levels. What should we get her next? Hmm. What level will you have to be to fully upgrade that? 12. Start working towards getting you in and um, don't play kill. Maybe stun? Come in handy. Um, yeah, we'll get stunned. Stun moves into stasis. Stasis fields. Yeah, we'll get you stunned. Accept. Seven, seven, seven. So then! I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you later, my four alligators.